What's up, everybody? This is Chuck It's Crusoe with Simply Vegas, your Las Vegas realtor, bringing you another property tour. So today we are here in the city of Henderson, massive plan community called Cadence, and we are looking at a new product by Toe Brothers. And the name of this community is called Concor. Um, pricing on this one starts off around 400,000 all the way up to 450,000. You have four different floor plans to choose from. However, there's only two that are modeled for us to view. So let's go ahead and take a look at these models. Now, this road right here is actually a main road. What you'll notice about Cadence, it's more of an urban type of living. Now this model that we are gonna be looking at today, it's called Edgewood. And this one features a three bedrooms, two full baths, well, two and a half baths, I'm sorry. Two car garage, and it's 2,046 square feet. And you have a few different type of styles. This is a uh, Spanish style. And the starting price on here is 398998 oh, 95 Oh, did I say that right? $398,995. So this home has a side entryway. Let me know what your thoughts are about that. If you, if you like something like that, the side, or do you prefer the door to be in the front? So here's your walkway here. As we enter the concour, concour, okay. So off to the right here, just comes right into the living room. Now, if this is your first time looking at a Toe Brother product, what you'll notice about Toe Brothers, they really specialize in interior design. This is what they really focus on with their interior designers. They put all the bells and the whistles into the property. It's highly upgraded. So it looks like we have a nice quartz undermounted sink, stainless steel. You got some nice light fixtures there, bunch of can lightings. Nice handles, dovetails, these are MCs probably with the soft clothes. Got a nice backsplash. Cook countertop. I love the uh, cabinet, it's very modern. Come back around here and take a look at this kitchen. Now, the mass plan and the HOAs on here, $40 a month. And there's no special improvement district or land improvement district as well. You got your oven and your conventional microwave. Refrigerator. This ain't the stainless steel, this is that stainless gray. Really nice. Looks like we have straight edge, orange peel texture with a straight edge five inch baseboards. Oh, look at that. I love the uh, 12 by 24 transitions into the wood. This kind of divides the uh, dining area, which is pretty cool. Now, overall with my assessments right now, uh, if you got rid of all this, all the interior design stuff, I mean, this is all cosmetics. It just looks like a regular house. But, I mean, they're so good at interior design. It really gives you that wow factor. Now, I definitely like this pantry upgrade. Look at this. 
Your attic access is right there. Okay. Interesting. I love the pantry though. And this is some quality stuff right here, that's for sure. Now look at that wall, that's gorgeous. I would have done an LED light right behind this little TV screen here. Gorgeous. Let's go out in the back. Build time for this build out here is about eight months. I think they got about 80 something properties or lots to be built. It's gorgeous. Okay. Just too much to look at. Love this cover patio here. Or this awning, whatever you want to call it. Nice stone work. Grill. Take a look at this. You got the strip right there. However, eventually you'll have homes that will obstruct the strip view. Now this, believe it or not, is still a pool. It's a soap pool, Pebble Tech. You got a beautiful deck, cooling deck on here, which is really nice. Man, they were able to squeeze in a little putt-putt. Ask the sales agent um, if Toad Brothers are getting anything, any incentives right now, and they're not giving any type of incentives at all. However, they do have standing inventory right now. So we've got your air conditioning, air conditioner, your condenser here, okay? So you got your wood eaves. I prefer stucco. But that's just more of a personal preference. Right here is for your master. I love how they did the backyard though. They really, you know, as small as the backyard is, it's very inviting. It feels like it's part of the house. We got 10 foot ceilings. Wow, you got a three inch casing on here on the door. That's really nice. Wow, take a look at this. Look at the ceilings on here. You got the faux beams with the wood planks. You could literally do that yourself. Even this headboard that goes all the way across. And I love how they put these pendant lightings here which is really cool. However, this would be a two-part upgrade. You would have to do the structural, then you would have to pick your lighting. However, before you do that, let's just say if you're gonna design a home like this, you definitely need an interior designer because the interior designer has to think ahead of time as far as what structural items that they're gonna do. I will have all the measurements in the link below. So it looks like we have an alarm system here. Okay. Coming into the bathroom. So off to the left, we have our water closet. And what's this right here? Off to the right. Okay, so we have some linen storage. I'm surprised Toe Brothers built a home um, this small. 
But this just kind of tells you uh, what their market is and what they're targeting out here in Cadence. Coming into the closet. Prada. Prada. Coach. Tom Ford. Chuck, it's Crucial What. Man, I love these cabinets, though. It's almost like a light espresso. It's gorgeous. Now look at the stonework on here. Undermounted sink. You got your frame mirror. You know, that's definitely an upgrade. You got your shower. 12 by 24 tile all the way up to the top with the window right there, which is nice. What is this right here? Just extra closet space? Yeah. Okay, so you got some extra closet space. Interesting. Eight foot doors. Look how they designed this wall here. You can just get those little pieces of wood and do that yourself. This is a utility closet, so they locked that. So we have rooms down that way, down this way. We'll start on this side here. So here's your laundry. So you can see all oh, this is an upgrade. The cabinets, the sink. They do have some standing inventory where they slash the prices down to like $50,000. I'll do tours on, on those ones too as well. So that way you can kind of see what it looks like. All right, I love how they did their tray ceilings and it's not even like real tray ceilings what they did was uh, looks like they use some wood which is pretty damn creative here you see that how they did that that's got to be one inch by or half an inch by six inches that's a good idea and I love how they put this mirror right here one thing that's good about Toe Brothers man you can definitely get some great design ideas now this is a queen size bed here and this bedroom is pretty small I would say it's probably a 10 by 10 all right let's go into the bath here so we have carpet transitions to 12 by 24 on the tile we have a 30 inch vanity I'd always take a 36 inch all day long versus a 30. Oh, that didn't sound right. <laughs> Here's your two car garage. This is locked. Alarm system. Normally, you always have the alarm system right next to your garage here's your powder man this is a long pedestal sink right here crazy toilet it's pretty low I would rather have a higher toilet they were really creative with this bathroom for sure wow see what I'm saying where you can just get some wood rip these lines through it I mean if you're a carpenter this this would be very easy for you to do so looks like this one how many bedrooms we had four master we had that one this one this is three and we have one more okay this is such a cute room right here this room is a a lot bigger than the other room. You got your 12 by 
I'm sorry, your eight by two feet or two by eight feet. Look at this. This is actually normally stock and standard here. A lot of builders will put this in for the standard, but because this was standard, normally it's a more of a pine color. They actually sanded this and stained this. That's kind of cool, actually. Is this a Jack and Jill bathroom? Oh, yeah, it is. So we got your 12 by 24 porcelain tile, th uh, 3 8 stagger with a herringbone pattern. You got your quartz, three quarters. You got your tile all the way up to the top. Okay. Coming into the bath. You got your toilet, tub shower combo, fiberglass. Now I love the fact that they tiled it all the way up to the top. Makes a big difference. So here's the fourth bedroom. However, we're gonna come down over here. Ooh, now this is a cool bedroom. Look at this idea right here. Isn't that cool? And that must be a real, was a basketball court recycle Recyclable. Look at that wood right there. That's kind of cool. Interesting. Now this room is a good, probably 12 by 12. Closet again, standard 2 by 8 on here. Now, overall, um, for the price, I think this is a great price for the location. But this home has way too much upgrades on this home. This home probably has about a, almost $100,000 in upgrades on this thing. Oh, not even probably including the backyard with the pool. I would say probably about $150,000, maybe even more. That, that's my personal opinion. But anyway, let me know. In the comments below what your thoughts are about this property if you can see yourself living here and let me know in the comments below what you think this home is worth also if you have not subscribed to this channel go ahead and hit that subscribe button other than that i'm chuck it's crusoe with simply vegas and have a blessed day